What's up, y'all? How y'all feeling? My name is Reggie Black. I'm an artist from the DMV area. As you can see by the legend Chuck Brown behind me. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at Risk Game Guapo. And let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so when I started these vans, or when I had the idea of them, I just went online and I just searched up different pictures of the Proud family. And from those pictures, I took a couple of references from Google, Google Images, and I made a mood board on them. And I used Photoshop. You can use just, you know, standard poster size when you make your mood board. Or you can cut out pictures and, like, paste them up somewhere if you don't have Photoshop. But I use Photoshop. And I use the landscape orientation because I kind of like having all of my ideas spread out. And from there, I went to my sketchbook and I just sketched different thumbnails. Thumbnails are basically just rough outlines of all the ideas you have so you can get them out of your head and you settle on one, you finalize that one, and you begin making your final product based off of that final sketch. Okay, so these were originally all white old school vans. For that light purple, I used dioxazine purple, but I added white to it. And a little bit of ultramarine blue to give it a nice tone. For the back and the lining of the laces, I used white and ultramarine blue as well. Once I got the color I like, I added flow A additive to it. Liquid X Professional Acrylic Medium. And what it does, it, it makes the paint like looser. So it spreads spreads along the shoe easier. So I definitely recommend that. And to use it, you can just follow the, the directions on the back of it. And it says one part flow aid to 20 parts water, you know. So add that to your paint and it makes the process a lot smoother. My original plan was to translate my sketch onto the shoes, just freehand drawing it. But as I started drawing it, I didn't have any tracing paper, so I decided to just go in and paint it because the pencil was actually making it a lot more messy than it had to be. So I just went in and started painting it. I sketched it so many times in my sketchbook that I was comfortable with the material I was working on. So I just stayed patient, um, took my time, was diligent, and I just painted each character one by one by hand. But you can also use tracing paper. You know, you can go to Michael's, go to AC Moore, wherever, and just get some tracing paper, transfer your sketch onto the vans, and that way you already have a rough outline. Now, when you're mixing your colors, your base colors, so for this one, it would be the purple and the blue. When you're mixing those colors, I would recommend mixing a lot of that color because what happens is, if you have to keep going back and keep making that color you can get these little inconsistencies and it could be a little tedious to get that same tone again so definitely make a lot of that color that way you could put as many layers as you need down and it's all consistent it makes the process a lot faster so mix a lot of the color that you use as the base and also any color that you use throughout it so for this one i used a lot of browns light browns dark browns all types of browns so I just made a lot of purple, a lot of blue, and a lot of browns. That way it made the process a lot easier. that's it man i hope y'all learned something i hope y'all took something away from it like that's always my goal you know to just try to pass on the information that i've been taught you know so i hope y'all go out i hope y'all customize your own vans y'all experiment your own ways and if you find something new man or you try out a different type of paint let me know whether you try freehand whether you try tracing you know because I'm always trying to get better, you know what I mean? So I'm always down to spread information, and I'm always down to learn. So 
definitely hit me up and let me know that. But until next week, I thank y'all and I appreciate y'all. Keep creating. Also, shout out to Brackish, man. I went down there uh, this Saturday, cop this shirt, cop the new deck, man. And they sized me with some stickers. So shout out to Brackish down at the National Harbor, man. Um, support your local face shop. They held a contest at Walker Mill and it was tight from what I saw. So support your local skate shop. Once again, thanks for watching y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, you know, tell a friend. We out.